Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know. It's an opportunity for us to listen to the Bible together and to hear what God is saying to us today. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verses 20 and 21. We are travelling together to guard against any criticism for the way we are handling this generous gift. We are careful to be honourable before the Lord, but we also want everyone else to see that we are honourable. Paul had spent some time encouraging people to give money towards a collection that would help the Christians in Judea who had suffered a severe famine. He knew how easily there could be accusations about the misuse of money, so he put in place measures to prevent this happening. One of them was to appoint Titus as his travelling companion when the money was taken to Jerusalem. He wanted to ensure that the way that the money was handled was not only honouring to the Lord, but also to everyone else. Such wisdom in the handling of money is necessary in every generation. Through the years there have been far too many occasions when treasurers of churches and charities have been found guilty of misusing funds. It's often been observed that such crimes are more easily committed within the trusting environment of Christian organisations. Unscrupulous people have taken advantage of this and harm has been caused to everyone concerned. It's vital for Christian organisations to observe the highest standards in the handling of money. Putting in place careful procedures might at times feel too bureaucratic and suggest a lack of trust, but such things are all for the sake of protecting those involved and the good name of the charity. It simply isn't good enough to say we're all Christians so we can be more relaxed about the rules. Money can be a great temptation, and if careful and strict procedures are not in place, people can easily trip up. For love's sake, we need to be vigilant and to ensure that we maintain the highest standards. We can be quite sure that the Apostle Paul would have thoroughly approved. Let me pray with you. Lord God, we thank you for the money that you've placed in our hands. Please help us always to use it honourably. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. I do hope you have a great day. God bless you.